Hello, how are you doing today? Uh, this is your host Sopil Bharatiya and we are back with some hardware review. Today we are going to review BenQ screen bar e-reading lamp. Uh, this was sent by BenQ. I did not buy it but uh, as, as a writer I used to to, to use type writer actually in initially the initial days and I always loved lamp over my work area and I have that little tiny lamp as you can see there I really love and I have a little light lamp up there uh, I never even considered this because I was actually not aware of any such thing I never even googled it so it's really interesting to see what they have in this box it may be something that I always wanted but I never bothered to get so let's open it up and see that's another box let's open the box we have some papers unfortunately all of it is in Chinese Mandarin so I can't read it uh, once again all the instruction as this catalog is also in Mandarin then we have this seems to be the stand this is the actual lamp as you can see there's all led here and i don't know what they are okay so then this one i don't know if you can see it but i'll be showing it to you later on this one is power that i have no idea what it is and that one seems to be temperature color temperature for the light and this one is the brightness and then there is a port for usb as you can see here and then we have usb cable so that's all it is and it's a usb micro usb cable so let's see how it actually works what i'm assuming is that it should typically work as a which you can plug in your laptop uh, system so good news is that my dell uh, monitor it has a usb port so i can plug it the usb port in there and then this seems to go like this i'm assuming and then technically this should be behind so I cannot see it once again I should I wish there were instructions clear so there are no instructions as such so I'll have to do all the guesswork myself but it looks like this oh okay so now I got it so there is a cut so as you can see there's a cut it should go I'm assuming like So we put it there so that the USB is against the hole and that's how it goes. And then you put it on top of the monitor and make sure that this clip is in front so it latches onto the monitor. And then you take the USB and connect it from the behind. So you leave it like that and that's it is. Let me turn the main light off okay so this is what it looks like i still have one spotlight on for my face so that you can at least see my face but um, what is really incredible is that from the lamp i don't see any light on my face so what is happening is that all the light is on my table without any glare in my eyes so that i don't have to struggle to look at the screen because there is sharp light in front of me but at the same time my whole work area is very well lit this is i i cannot even say that why i never thought about that it's incredible so let's just let's, let's quickly check about the so you can increase or decrease the brightness as you can see when you just hold the button the brightness goes up and down so you can increase or decrease it so let's increase the brightness a bit And then this one is color temperature as you can see it's uh it's now uh, very very cold bluish whitish and now it is blue and if i keep tapping on this button 
it will become warm so you can choose whatever color temperature you like and you know what i think uh, even when i'm recording these videos in future all the interviews i'll keep this light there and uh, because it, it gives a very good fill light on my desktop let me just turn that light off just to just check okay so here we are i don't really know if you can see my face and this is i'm recording with panasonic gh5s panasonics are not known for uh, low light condition but i think if you look at it it really looks good because the work area so you can if you want to read you can read very well and the the, the light is very kind of diffused light so you don't get any sharp light in your eyes and I can just change the color temperature just for the sake of it. Oh, this is dimming. Let me make it brightest and now change the temperature. Okay, so this is like cold, a cool light and blue. This is incredible. This is, uh, I don't know what is this for. I think this is a very neat light that you need for your desktop. If you spend a lot of time in front of your computer, but you also want to be able to read books or look at the keyboards because most of these keyboards are not blacklit. But at the same time, you don't want a super bright light in your room because sometimes, like for example, I'm a fiction writer too. I just want a very quiet and you know secluded place where everything else disappears and the only thing I see is my uh, keyboard, my screen. Or if I'm reading, I just want to see the book, not the whole room. So with BenQ lamp, I can achieve it. So here, here's, here are my thoughts about it. If you're somebody who is either a writer who spends a lot of time in your desktop, in your room, uh, where you are like me who doesn't like a lot of bright lights around you, you just want to focus on your keyboard, your screen, or your book. So, and actually, to be honest with you, if you really want to focus you want everything else to disappear all you want to see is words or keys where you can press so i think it's a very neat lamp that uh, i would have really recommend the reason i would recommend is first of all thank you Benki, for sending it but the actual reason i recommend is that i will be using it myself so what are your thoughts about this lamp do you think you would need this lamp do you think it's a neat lamp I love it. I really love it. Thank you. Now let's go and do some work. Oops, I need to turn that off. Sorry. <laughs> 